may have heard of Google Chrome. Google Chrome is an alternative web browser to your default web browser. Your default web browser is usually Internet Explorer, Edge or Safari. However, using Chrome you will be able to browse the Internet faster than you was able to do before. You also can use some plugins that are not available for the other browsers. So let's get into it. This is how to install Google Chrome. So what you do is you fire up your regular web browser, which may be um, Safari or Internet Explorer, and you go to your default search engine, which is, you know, Bing or Google or whatever you use. And then you type in Google Chrome. And then you see here, download and install. You can also click the link in the description that says download Google Chrome and you'll get directly to this page here. Uh, so here we have some information and uh, well if you are using an Android device or an iPhone or iPad you should of course change the uh, tab but if you use a computer whatever operating system you have you just uh, go here. Alright so uh, what you can do is um, if you can't download Google Chrome on the device you want to install it on currently, if you have no internet, you can click the install Chrome offline and then you just put that file on that computer. But if you have internet, uh, internet like we have now, we can just click download. Here we have for Windows, here we have for Mac, we have Linux uh, and some other options later down. But I guess most of you will either use Mac or Windows. And I know I have Windows because uh, you can see in the dot, bottom uh, left corner you can see this window there. Alright. Then you go here and you just click download Chrome right here. Um, here you can select help make Google Chrome better by automatically sending uh, usage data. Um, I don't want to send usage data, so uh, yep, I just uncheck that. Here we have the terms, which uh, might be a good idea to check through, but uh, well, people usually don't. And then you just click save the file. Choose wherever you'd like to save your file. Doesn't matter where you save it, because we won't need to keep it. And when you have downloaded it, you can click the download uh, place, you got either this icon here or many have a bar in the uh, lower space of the browser window. Uh, you click that and then you click run. Uh, some browsers ask you this automatically, but you want to run it. Then you uh, wait for this install bar to complete. It will first download Google Chrome to install it and then begin the installation on the default space. It's all pretty straightforward. Google Chrome is now installed. Right. Uh, this now likes to uh, make, make uh, Google Chrome your default browser. Uh, if you don't want that, you can skip this part. Uh, then we have taskbar. If you want to be able to launch it from the taskbar, you click right click it and you just click, uh, click pin to taskbar. Or unpin it if you don't want it there. Then you can click continue and we are basically here at Google Chrome Fresh Browser. Now in the upper right corner we have current user. Uh, if you like to, you can log into your Google account on Chrome or create a Google account if you don't have one. If you have Gmail or a YouTube account or uh, yeah, a Google Drive account, you have a Google account and then you can use that um, email or telephone number enabled to log in. You don't need to log in but if you log in you can sync your data between your devices. Uh, know that this is however um, it will less it will make your browsing less private of course sending the data between devices but uh, well if you want more private uh, browsing in any case 
you can click uh, new incognito window and this will bring up a uh, incognito window that uh, is supposed to not track you or save the uh, stuff you browse on basically and when you close that window down it will be gone uh, now I don't uh, want to log into the browser um, but uh, that's completely optional you don't need to uh, you can check for Google Chrome add-ons by basically just searching it here. Uh, Google Chrome is a very clean browser and this uh, address bar is the same as the search bar, it's basically the same. So here we go, Google Web Store. And uh, well, most stuff is for free here. And uh, here you can customize your Google Chrome to look like you want it to look basically. Um, so yeah. Here we have Zodiac Animals, that's just great. So we're gonna check uh, the um, year of the pig as it is. So we are going to have the pig theme, which is now fantastic. You can see how cute. You can select any of those theme there. themes there. Uh, so that's nice, you can just go back there. Uh, all right, and if you want add-ons to your Google, Chrome. You just click this add-ons here and you have a lot of popular add-ons here you can use for time saving, online office, you can have spell checking, device, uh, spell checking services, uh, calendars and well, as you might imagine, Google Chrome has very good integration with the rest of uh, the Google products. So that's pretty nice. Right, so you just play around here with the extension you like to use and uh, well, what you also might want to know is you can go to settings here. Um, also, here in history you can see your recently closed tabs and stuff like that. Uh, but we go to settings and here we can check some of your settings there. So you can re reset the theme, uh, change the font size if it's hard to read. Uh, to read stuff you can zoom in here with page zoom and uh, font size you can set it to larger if you need larger or smaller if it's too large um, and then page zoom is probably the easiest way to make it look bigger or smaller or you can also add other search engines like DuckDuckGo or something like that uh, here you can have on startup so uh, every time you start Chrome, you either get a clean tab or you get a specific number of pages, maybe your workplace, uh, intranet or something like that, or um, you just keep the same pages and uh, tabs you had last time, which is probably the most easy solution that I would generally recommend to people. Here you can see you can make this default and it will bring up settings and it will give you the default browser there. So, well, that's my default browser. So, yeah, there we have it. <laughs> yep, but that's that's an option you have there. Here we also have autofill, password, payment and information like that that can be saved. Uh, so you can turn on and off these features if you want or don't want them to autofill uh, stuff like this. Alright, um, then we also have uh, extensions uh, down there if you want to check at them. Uh, you can manage your extensions there. But what I wanted to show you is an advanced tab where we have languages. And if you want to change the language of your browser, you can, you know, change it to any other, any other language, basically. It's pretty useful. Yeah, and you can, you can add languages and make some uh, languages default or not. And you can also uh, add languages for spell -shaking. Here you can select the default place to download and some other stuff like that. So check through the settings if you want some more customization. Well, I think that's that. I hope this tutorial helped you to install Google Chrome and also get used to the web browser. 
If this little tutorial helped you, please leave a like and if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments field. Uh, if you know someone that might benefit from uh, watching this tutorial, that might need a faster browser and a better experience or just a little tutorial on how to use it, please send this video to them and share this on social media. Uh, and, um, well, that's basically that, so thanks a lot for watching and I see you in future videos if you do subscribe. So, see you around, this is Geomanism Total Notary Channel, signing out.